Also developing tonight in Worcester, a driver hit a pair of pedestrians and then took off. We're told some of the injuries are serious. WBZ's Jim Smith is live in Worcester with the details. Jim? Kate, that's the word that we're getting tonight from a man who was here today. He says witnesses were begging this driver to stop, but she simply kept right on going. The daughter was screaming, telling the lady to stop, banging on the window. Ray Rivera still can't believe it, describing the terrible scene on Quinn Sigamond Ave in Worcester Sunday afternoon. He says a husband and wife were run over by a woman who then allegedly took off, leaving the wife badly hurt. It was a couple yeah. with their daughter. They were, they were shopping here at the flea market, and as they were coming out, there was a lady backing up and uh, ran over the couple, and the daughter was screaming, telling the lady to stop, the driver to stop, and she wouldn't stop. Uh, then after that, I guess she uh, took off. Rivera says the couple and daughter were just leaving a flea market where Rivera is a vendor. He says other vendors told him the daughter was pleading with the driver to stop, but she did not. No doubt that she knew she hit somebody? Yeah, I mean, you could, according to the guys, they, they were banging on the windows, you know? I mean, come on. <laughs> it's telling you something, right? Either stop or roll your window down or something. But the lady, I guess, was in shock herself, and she just kept going. Witnesses said the woman's chest was run over twice by that driver. Telling the lady to stop, and she wouldn't stop. She just put it in drive and kept going, ran over, and again. Mr. Rivera told me that a number of witnesses were able to take down this driver's license plate number. So in his opinion, he thinks that she can't get very far. We just got a release from Worcester Police. They are telling us that the male victim was treated and released from the hospital. But unfortunately, the female victim has significant injuries and is still hospitalized at this hour. Live in Worcester, I'm Jim Smith, WBZ News.